Hi, my name is Sima and I'm a software developer and developer advocate. I work for K6, enabling developers excel with testing in general and performance testing in particular. And I work on various open source projects, most prominently Shouter and Watchtower. And Shouter, which we are going to talk about today, was born out of necessity as uh, Watchtower required a lot of maintenance on the notification services. We decided to look for another like library to send notifications and turned out that there wasn't really any for Go at this point. So many of us had used Python before and uh, really liked the AppRise uh, library available there. So we decided to do something similar for Go. Uh, it's almost exclusively built using the standard library. We use some external packages for testing and for the CLI, but the library itself is almost exclusively standard libraries. And Currently, we support 11 different notification services, but the list keeps growing. And at this point, we support, for instance, Slack, Discord, Telegram, email, Teams, and Hangouts, to name a few. And Shouter is runnable in three different modes. You can run it either as a CLI and use it as a standalone application. This is suitable for adding notifications to bash scripts and cron jobs. Or you could use it as a library, either by directly sending through it or creating a sender uh, which will, which you can reuse to send multiple notifications. You can also use it in a Docker container. This is still somewhat limited as we haven't gotten around to implementing the API required to interact with this container. And if you would like to discuss this topic more or would like to contribute to the project, uh, me and the other developers and maintainers are available to assist on both GitHub and Gitter or Twitter if you prefer that. So let's jump into some examples on how to use Shouter. Okay, so let's start off by an example that utilizes Shouter as a standalone CLI application. First, export a Shouter URL to our environment variables. We then call the Shouter executable and use the command send with a message that we want to send to our notification service. And if we run this, we can see that notification got sent to Telegram. Awesome. And now let's do the same thing using Go code and the send method. Open our main file and we'll import Shouter. We'll declare our URL. And we'll then send our All right, that works as well. And as I said, there are multiple ways of using this in Go code. You can, for instance, create a sender, which you can reuse to send multiple notifications. And you can also use it with multiple URLs to have multiple recipients receive the same message. So for more information or documentation, look at the, the Shouter GitHub repo and hope to see you on Gitter. Thanks.